Welcome to our lecture online. Our next video on Can You Believe It? is beyond unbelievable. Um, when I worked it out the first time, I didn't really know what to expect. But the results, I could still not accept the results, although I checked my calculation at least 12 or 13 times already. I know I didn't make a mistake, and yet the results are just so phenomenal. It has to do with the forces between charges, for example, the repulsive forces between electrons. And so I thought I did it, I would do a thought experiment, and again, involving elephants, that's kind of the interesting thing, because each elephant has a mass of about 5,000 kilograms. So here goes the, the experiment. Let's say we have two beams, two metal beams, and we attach a box to each of the two beams. We weld the box on there very, very strongly in such a way that we can then put electrons into each box. And we're going to try and keep the two beams 10 centimeters apart. In other words, the repulsive forces should levitate this beam over this beam. Now, we're going to make it even more difficult by putting elephants on top of the top beam. And so the question is, how many elephants can you put on the top beam and keeping the two beams 10 centimeters apart, so the top beam being elevated, or levitated, so to speak, and how many electrons are we going to put in each of the boxes? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take one mole of hydrogen atoms. Now, each hydrogen atom has a proton at the center and an electron whirling around the proton. So we're going to remove the electron of a mole of hydrogen atoms, throw away the proton, and then half the electrons we're going to put in the top box, and the other half of the electrons we're going to put in the bottom box. So each box contains a half a mole of electrons. Now, if we were to take a gram of hydrogen, one mole of hydrogen is about a gram of hydrogen, it would be about this much hydrogen. So we remove the protons, we keep the electrons. Now the electrons only make up about one two thousandth of the mass of a gram. So what that means is you would have one two thousand of a gram of electrons and that is one over fifty thousand of an ounce so one fifty thousand of an ounce or one two thousand one two thousand of a gram of electrons split into two groups half put in the top box the other put in the bottom box now they repel each other and the question is how many how many elephants can you put in the top beam so that the two beams would be levitated, the top beam would be levitated at a height of 10 centimeters, about tenth of a meter or four inches above the bottom beam. So the way to calculate that is to figure out the force between them. So the force is equal to K Q1 Q2 divided by the distance squared. Now that's known as Coulomb's law. And K is a constant that is 9 times 10 to the ninth. And now we have to find how many coulombs of charge a half a mole of electrons is. Now, a half a mole of an electron, so half a mole, is equal to Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23, divided by 2. Now, a coulomb, one coulomb, is equal to 6.24 times 10 to the 18th electrons. So if we divide this number, roughly 3 times 10 to the 23rd, divided by this number, we get the number Coulomb. So let's do that. So we're going to take the top number, which is uh, 6.022 e to the 23rd divided by 2, because we're going to split electrons in the top and the bottom box. We're going to divide that by the number of electrons in a Coulomb. So let's divide by 6.24 e to the 18th. And that leaves me with... 482,532. So that is equal to a half a mole is equal to 482,500. Oh, I'm wrong. Not 482,000. It looks like 48,253. All right. 48,253 coulombs of charge by taking a half a mole of electron. So that means my two charges are 48,253, and I multiply that times 48,253 because you have to multiply the charges of the two boxes. Divide that by the distance between them squared, which is 0 0.1 meter, and we square that. So this is in coulombs, 
This is in meters, so meters squared, and this is in newtons, uh, meters squared per coulomb squared. Now, when we work all that out, what do we get? So we're going to square that number times 9e to the ninth and divide by 0 0.01, and that gives me this is equal to 2.0955 times 10 to the 21 newtons. So that would be the force between the two beams. So now we have to convert a force to mass because we want to figure out how many elephants we need for that. So we know that the force is equal to mg. That means the mass is equal to the force divided by g. And so the force would be 2.09 times 10 to the 21st divided by g, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. So divide by 9.8 and we get 2.138 times 10 to the 20th kilograms. Now we're going to divide that by 5,000 kilograms per elephant, like that. So we divide that by 5,000, and we get 42, oh, about 40, let's just round it off to 40,000 times 1 trillion. Now, the answer is, and this is the amazing part, we took the electrons off of one gram of hydrogen, one gram of hydrogen, if you push it together, because hydrogen is a gas, of course, in a solid state would be about this much. We plug the electrons off of that, half the electrons go in the top box, the other half go in the bottom box. We have the two beams, 10 centimeters apart, and we could put on the top beam 40,000 trillion elephants, not just trillion elephants, 40,000 trillion elephants on the top beam, and the top beam would be supported by the repulsive force between the electrons of one gram of hydrogen. Wow. So, obviously, that's an enormous number. Can you imagine 40,000 trillion elephants stacked up on top of the top beam, and the repulsive force between those two little boxes filled with a half a mole of electrons each would support that enormous mass, that enormous weight of 40,000 trillion elephants. Wow. So that's why this incredible force between electrical charges like that is just unbelievable. But that is, yeah, that is actually what's happening. So, yeah, let's write down 40,000 trillion. So it would be. F right here, I'm going to. Oh, up there. All right. Let's put it up there. 40,000 trillion elephants. So 40,000. And a trillion is 12 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is thousands, millions, billions, trillions. 40,000 trillion elephants can be supported by the repulsive forces of a small fraction of a gram of electrons. We live in an interesting universe. <laughs> we don't have enough elephants left. Yeah, I don't think we've ever had that many elephants live on the earth, though. That's, uh, that's a lot of elephants. I still can't believe it. I still can't believe the results. It's unbelievable. That's why we named it. Can you believe it? <laughs>